Guys and girls, in today's episode I'm gonna give you three tips that will instantly make you a better midfielder as long as you implement them to your game. And actually, even though you're not a midfielder, which I used to be back in the days, I'm sure you're gonna learn something watching this episode. Now these three tips are things that every player should have in their locker, but unfortunately they go unnoticed from a lot of young players. And today we're gonna fix that. Let's go. My tip number one is having an open body positioning before you receive the ball. Let me explain. As often as possible, you want to have your front facing forward, towards the direction where you are attacking, simply for you to be able to see what's happening and perhaps spot some defenders who are rushing towards you trying to steal the ball. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this to you guys with a simple scenario. I'm going to play the role of a center mid and my friend Phil here is going to be my center back. And I'm going to show you two different ways on how you can approach this. Number one, yes, Phil, you get the ball, you turn, and you go. Second example, yes, Phil. Now, you guys could probably spot the difference right away. Let's go a little bit deeper into both models. Phil, in the first example, the first mistake here is that you have your back towards the direction where you want to end up. You are basically looking into your own goal and you have no idea what's happening behind you in the area that you're actually going to try and attack. You're going to spend first of all a lot of energy and skill trying to turn with the ball before you can lift your head up and see what's out there. This is not ideal. Instead, what you want to do, you want to approach the ball and already position your body facing the goal you are attacking towards in order for you to see right away what's happening. You can approach the ball making a little circle like this. Yes, Phil. Boom. Right off the bat, you are already ready to go forward and attack the goal. You can see right away when the ball is approaching with the corner of your eye if there is a defender rushing towards you. No more mess ups with the ball trying to make a fancy turn and losing the ball in the center of the park. Start paying attention on how your body is positioned before you even receive the ball. <laughs> Tip number two is passing to the correct side and especially the front foot of your teammate. Let me explain. We are all familiar with this scenario. Your team wins the ball, you have a chance for a quick counter-attack, you, as the center mid, receive the ball and you spot your left winger making a great run towards the flank. You pass the ball towards him, but unfortunately it stays behind him. He's gonna have to slow down his speed, take a couple of steps back, and in the worst case scenario, the ball is even gonna go over the line for a throw-in. Passing the ball to the correct side and the front foot of your teammate makes the game faster, especially when you're trying to bring the game forward. So in this scenario, I would like to aim, as he's my left winger, to the left foot, so he can take it beautifully with the first touch in front of him. Same thing, when he passes the ball to me, I would like to have it here on my right foot. So once again, I have my front facing forward the second I receive the ball. If I was to give the ball to his right foot here, he's gonna have his back towards the goal, which is not ideal. Same thing here. If I get the ball, I'm attacking this way. We don't wanna receive the ball with our backs towards the goal. The world's best footballers make this thing look easy because they've been doing it for years. At the world's best academies, Ajax and FC Barcelona, from the youngest age, the players start learning the importance of passing the ball to the correct side and the correct foot of your teammates. Don't be satisfied in a game situation just smashing the ball towards your teammate. You need to be able to pick out the pass that will move the game forward. Bring it to his front foot every single time. The last tip is scouting the pitch. You, as the midfielder, have the responsibility of being the engine of the team. And you need to know where both your teammates and the opponents are at all times. So when you don't have the ball, when the ball is on the left side of the pitch, you need to constantly keep looking and spotting what's happening out there on the pitch. Maybe your right back is making a great run. So when you receive the ball, you already know what's happening out there and you can quickly pass the ball 
towards your teammates. Scouting the pitch at all times makes you aware of what's happening out there and it will help you make better decisions as soon as you receive the ball. So next time you're watching football on TV, pay close attention to the midfielders. Their heads are turning all the time when they don't have the ball. They are scouting the pitch 24-7 and so should you. So guys and girls, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode and I truly hope you got something out of it that will make you a better football player or in fact a better midfielder. And I really need you guys to chip in with some thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this one where we go more in depth and teach you game skills based on certain positions. It could be wingers, it could be midfielders or it could be strikers. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and while you're at it, if you're new around here, we make cool stuff every single week and you want to subscribe to our channel by clicking the green bubble next to my head. Also, we have made tons of videos teaching you guys the best football skills out there and you can watch the full playlist clicking it right down there. That's it for today. I'm out.